Word. Cool. Hi, guys. Hello. So my name is Farouk Malik. I'm the founder of Rumored. We are an interior design 3D visualization platform. So we create 3D models, interactive 3D models of interiors. Uh, a bit about myself. I am um, fairly new here. My wife and I moved to Dallas about three months ago from New York City. And, uh, and we're loving it. It's great. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, so before I decided to become an entrepreneur, I spent the first eight years of my career out of college in private equity. But something happened that made me leave my comfortable corporate life and become an entrepreneur. And I wanted to show you guys what happened. This happened. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but it was not very, uh, it was not very pleasant when it happened. So it's, uh, it didn't actually happen, but I guess <laughs> the, the fear of this happening is what makes furniture buying and designing your space and decorating your space such an onerous and exhausting process. And it's this very fear which forms the foundation of Rumored. A bit about the team. So what we're doing is very tech heavy. It's heavy on 3D content creation. We have a big focus on interior design. And we've managed to get to this stage thanks to our wonderful team. Uh, we've gone from concept to revenue in just over a year. So we're very happy about that. So before I tell you the details, I want to tell you what our vision is. Our vision is that in the future, every home will come with an interactive 3D model of that space. So a virtual replica of that home. That 3D model will form the core of what we call the rumored ecosystem. People like you and me will use that model to design our spaces and buy furniture directly from that. Home retailers would use that to market the products directly to consumers. And interior designers would use that to connect with consumers no matter where they are in the world. Where are we today? We were in development for the first 10 months of 2015. We launched in October, and we got our first customer shortly after that. Our first customer is Windsor Communities. Uh, they're a property management firm, and they have properties all around the US. And we were in two of their properties here in Dallas. So that was a big win for us. We're very happy about that. Thank you. So why has the response been so positive? I'm sure a lot of you have been through this. Whenever you're buying or renting, a new apartment or a condo, especially new constructions, but even existing spaces, your decision is limited to like flow plans and a few images. So it's, it's a bit of a leap of faith for you when you're making the decision. So for example, imagine your property manager telling you, oh, your new apartment is going to be great. It has lots of windows. You'll love it. So there you are waiting for your lots of windows. And when you move in, you find this. So you'd be pretty disappointed. Lots of windows, not exactly the size you were expecting. So that's inside our app. Uh, that's a dashboard of a typical building. You can browse through. That's a Jordan, the first building we're in. So you can browse through the different flow plans. You can watch videos for each of the flow plans that the building has to offer. The videos are on our website. They're on the client's website. So guys, check them out. Uh, let us know what you think. I'm sure you'll love it. Um, and under the videos are the 3D models for each of the rooms for every flow plan. So let's go into one of the rooms. Let's go into the B4, which is the two bedroom flow plan. So that's the space, North Dallas views. You can, all the finishes, fixtures are exactly what are in the apartment. So it's really your space that you're designing. Uh, you can move around the space, you have preset angles. The top down view is pretty cool. Um, and then you can drag furniture around. So let's move that sofa to the other side. There you go. Uh, we have a product library of real products. In the future, you'll be able to buy these products. So let's look at a few options. Let's, that's the orange sofa. That's another one. So that looks better, I think. And the, the important point here is everything is to scale. So this fits here exactly how it would fit in your own home. We have Sherwin-William colors in our database. So you can play around with Sherwin-William colors. There's a few reds. Uh, there you go. So the app is on the iPad App Store, guys. Download it. Play with it. Check it out. Tell us what you think. Give us feedback. Uh, keen to hear your feedback. A bit about the competition. Most of the players out there are the DIY type resources where you have to start do everything from scratch. Most of the home retailers have, their, have a room planner of sorts. In terms of the landscape, the two most important things for me are how useful is the tool and how ready to use is it. Most of the players I talked about are on the left-hand side. They can be useful if you really want them to be, but it takes a lot of effort. Augmented reality is a new concept. 
it's ready to use, it's limited in its scope. And we obviously want to be on the top right-hand side where as soon as you move into a place, your 3D model is there, ready to design. I'd like to end by leaving you with some feedback we've received from, uh, from the management of the Jordan, which is the first building we're in. Overall, it's been uh, fairly positive. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Can I throw on my Oculus Rift and kind of do it, you know, in that's, real time? That's the goal, yeah. Virtual reality is the next big thing. Hey, um, hey. so I, I have a question. So how are you currently um, getting the, the models for furniture and for different accessories and things like that into your software? Um, and yeah. or do you know about uh, Captured Dimensions, which is another local uh, company that does full 3D scanning of physical objects in the real world and put them into a digital framework? So yeah, so yeah. we're aware of you know there's there's that and there's Matterport and there's a few others. There's AutoCAD 3D design that can capture. They have devices that can capture 3D. But so most of the products obviously are available online. They're available in the database, so the, you can't really go and physically capture them. Uh, a lot of the retailers, some have CAD files, so they would give us CAD files in which we can use. A lot of them don't, you'd be surprised. And for that, we have a 3D team that actually creates them manually. But I think as, we, as this becomes more mainstream, everyone will have CAD files, so it'll become easier. Yeah. So I've actually rented several apartments without ever having seen it before moving in. How did that work out for you? Um, usually it was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> um, but they were sublets, so usually just one or two months. Okay. okay. And um, how are you handling the outside views for the, uh, for the windows? Because I saw that. Is that real? That's a real view. So uh, we basically have high-res images of the outside views, and uh, those images are in the model, are used in the model. But it's not actually like real. You're just taking like one picture and then you're applying it to multiple stories, right? That's correct. So I think uh, with time, as this evolves, yes, we'll be able to move up as you move up and down the buildings. You'll be able to change the view. For now, it's just we know that this cluster of units face this way. So that's the view we're using. The other cluster face the other way. So that's the other view we're using. And the walk through the video, that's completely 3D, correct? It's not, yes, you're not it's you a, don't have any cameras in the space? No, it's all CG, computer generated. And I'm sure others are curious about this. Your revenue. Like, I, you're, you're charging them, but like, what, what does that look like? So, so there's two aspects to the business. One's the services model, which is these property management firms paying us. Because for, for them, we are a, a sales tool or a leasing tool. Uh, so they're paying us to create these models. Our end goal is, as I, as I explained in the vision, to access the consumers. And this has been, like, in this whole industry, the big problem has been, how do you access the consumer? Uh, because the friction was so much. And I think we've figured that out, uh, that we are, everyone who moves in, we've already created a, a, a 3D model for that, and they have the 3D model ready to go. So, and that will be our second aspect, the consumer model. Oh, you can also have it before, yeah, before or after. Yeah. Exactly. So, like I said, there's, there's the services model, which is you use it to encourage people to buy or rent. And the other one is once you move in, you'll be able to use this as a tool to design your space and buy furniture. So that's our second part of the business. And we're hoping the revenue will come, start coming from that in a year or so. Question. How do yeah. you handle people who are transferring and they have their own furniture? So for now, we don't handle that. <laughs> but in the future, um, the plan is that we will be able to. So with, with, when technology is there, when all the devices will be able to capture 3D, it'll be a lot easier to handle that. So we believe you're at the forefront of whatever technology has to offer. And as it evolves, as your phone will be able to capture your existing furniture, we'll be able to put it in. But for now, no. Um, question, uh, do you have plans to allow realtors uh, or people who are selling their homes, let's say, like a 50 or 100 year old home to be able to quickly model this and potentially help sell their house and, or make it more attractive on the market? That's a definite application. We're not focusing on that at the moment because multifamily is a lot, makes a lot more economic sense because for every floor plan you have 10, 20 apartments, whereas with, if you work with realtors, it's one, and for every home you have to create a floor plan, uh, create a model. So we're not focusing on that now, but that's a definite application.
A lot of the homes, well, we can calculate the dimensions um, if, if, if you were to go down that route. Uh, we'll just need dimensions, we'll need reference photos, and the 3D team creates the model from that. Yeah. Hey, could you sync it up with Tinder and, and see how like a potential mate would look in your house? That's a great idea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it looks like you guys have done quite a bit of development. How have you guys funded it so far, and what are you looking for here? More funding, more customers, both? Um, so, uh, yeah, we've we bootstrapped it so far, um, and uh, not desperate for funding, but right. looking for that investor Thank who you. actually understands our vision. Yeah. And, and we need customers. <laughs>